I still remember at primary five, I still remember at primary five, I had started doing street evangelism oh. at primary five. Yes, I started doing street evangelism. So, I am now using my head to calculate because I remember this particular one, this particular street evangelism. I was scared. You know, I remember that when it was in primary five. But then again, by the time I got into, um, sec I remember in my GSS one, which was about nine years old. I was about nine in my GSS one. So my mom. Which city is this? Um, so yeah, the city is Umwa here, Abia okay. State. Yes. Okay. When you get to the end of Nigeria, you turn yes. left. Yes. 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 I so, remember that place. Yes. So. <laughs> So, and that, and that was the city. So, my, my mom, so I joined the prayer warriors department. Yes. And these were times where they, you can't say you're praying. So, whenever you are put in the prayer warriors, so I don't know why, they brought a lot of mad people to the church. A lot of mad people. Mad people. So, when they, I don't know why. So, it was a prayer, healing, you know, deliverance ministry. So, like what? Mad. Stark raving mad. So, once you join, once they make they you part of the prayer, they give you an assignment. <laughs> right? So, you have to pray out mad. So, it's not this kind of... And the demons that time, I, I just knew, knew, know there's a difference now. Yes, in the yes, demons yes. that time. We have and the demons, now. We yes, the, 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 the demons now are demons, very yeah. contemporary. Very contemporary. They don't... That time, you know... Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching me from. I welcome you to the Betty's blog. And today, I bring us good news about the interview that happened between Pastor Yemi Davis and Pastor Jerry Eze in the concluded recharge conference in the Church of Global Impact Church. So in this video, you're going to find an interview that happened that will inspire you. And Pastor Eze also mentioned in this interview that women influenced him, especially his mom, that women around him influenced him and i pray that as you listen to this interview that you will get inspired and you will be ministered to it's not just an ordinary interview it's a spirit-filled interview so i just gave a little clip of this interview so when you finish watching this you go to global impact church youtube channel i'm going to put the link in the comment section and description then you go there to watch the full clips because it's good to train up a child in the way of the lord it's good for a child to know god at a young age you can look back That's in terms I of learned. your upbringing so enjoy that this shaped video. your life for this assignment you are in now Absolutely. I mean, one of the major um, things that laid the foundation on whom I have become right now, I would readily say it's my mom. Your right? mom? Yes, my mother. You know, the way I was raised. Please put your hands together. Your mom? Yes, my mom. So, and um, in fact, pretty much everything I'm doing right now, I would say that my mom laid the foundation. So my mom um, is a very prayerful woman. I mean, a few times I've seen, I, as a child, I would probably wake up in the night, I see my mom holding my legs, her tears on my feet, you know, and then she would just be crying and praying. I really didn't know what she was praying about at the time, you know, so but predominantly, you know, my mom never really allowed me to do things that other children were doing even when I didn't even realize the reason why she was doing that. In fact, I was saying to someone a few days ago, um, I said, whenever, uh, how I know that my mom is around is how other children begin to scamper, you know? <laughs> so I may not see my mom, I probably will be somewhere, you know, as a, as a child, I didn't understand why my mom didn't want me to play with children, other children like me. Anyway, we lived on the streets. We lived on the streets, you know what I mean? I so, know. so we lived um, in a pretty not nice neighborhood, okay. right? Not nice neighborhood. I mean, we're very poor. We came from a very poor home. The poverty that poor people will tell you that you're poor. That's how we grew up. So we grew up, um, I don't want to call it a slum, but it almost like is like a slum. A slum. So, wow. And then you know the way the children there they really behaved and all that. So, and then I'll be there pray, uh, playing with the children and then I just notice when children start running that my mom was coming wow. you know so but I didn't know why I was never lucky I was never lucky to run you know because <laughs> as I see others running I just know my mom is around so as I just step out to just my mom would just grab me from the you know this thing next thing tower, tower, tower. she wasn't very nice so she really she 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 beats the association out of my head so and then that's how and we, she started taking me to church. I was in church. I was exposed to everything supernatural on time. Oh. And this is exactly, yes. So I'm a product of supernatural. So because she took me to this church where, I mean, you can't, I mean, what we used to have then are called prayer warriors, right? So I was in the prayer warriors department. At what know? age? 
so I was pretty much maybe between um, when we started attending the church, I was like about eight years. Wow. Yes. So a year later, I was put in the prayer warriors department. So nine. nine. So I was about <laughs> nine or ten because I still remember at primary five. I still remember at primary five. I had started doing street evangelism ah. at primary five. Yes, I ah. started doing street evangelism. So. I am now using my head to calculate because I remember this particular one, this particular street evangelism. I was scared. You know, I remember that one. It was in primary five. But then again, by the time I got into, um, sec I remember in my GSS one, which was about nine years old. I was about nine in my GSS one. So my mom. Which city is this? Um, so the, the city is Umwa here, Abia okay. State. Yes. Okay. When you get to the end of Nigeria, you turn yes. left. Yes. 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 I so, remember that place. Yes. So. <laughs> So, and, that, and that was the city. So my, my mom, so I joined the prayer warriors department. Yes. And these were times where they, you can't say you're praying. So whenever you are put in the prayer warriors, so I don't know why, they brought a lot of mad people to the church. A lot of mad people. Mad people. So when, they, I don't know why. So it was a prayer, healing, you know, deliverance ministry. So like what? Mad. Start craving mad. So once you join, once they make they you part of the prayer, they give you an assignment. Right? <laughs> so you have to pray out mad. So it's not this kind of and the demons that time. I, I just knew, knew, know there's a difference now in yes, the yes, demons yes. that time. We have demons. Now. We yes, the, the, no, no. the demons now Analog are demons, very, yeah. very contemporary. Very contemporary. They don't that time, you know, the demons could talk like the mad people could charge at you. You know, ah, they carry what yeah. you want for me. The one, 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 uh, one. They didn't even assign her to me. Or they didn't even assign her one to me. So she was everybody's assignment. So when, when I came in, but she did not trouble any other person. It's only me that she was. She be and very annoying. She would call me. Her name is Felicia. I've told the story yeah, about Felicia yeah. a few times. So Felicia, wherever she is, she would just call me. Last born, last born, last born. Bia, bia, bia. Like last born, come, last born, come. I'm like, oh my goodness, why is this? So one day, you know, she be calling me last born. One day she was calling me last born, last born. I was speaking in tongues, speaking back to her. She laughed. She said, Ah, uh, ishio buroko bia, ishio buroko. What does that mean? Stock fish head. <laughs> So the oh demons, the demons they, they, they say anything they want, they could. So, and, you know, I remember my pastor's wife at the time. So I was, I was very, um, stop laughing at me. I, I remember my pastor's wife at the time. You know, when I kept, I kept on telling her, I said, you are the one. Whenever you show up, these demons are quiet. You know, I, I literally, oh, God bless, God bless that woman. I literally saw the supernatural. Like, it's not a case of giving testimonies. I literally saw blind eyes open. Yet, she was not celebrated, you know. The yes, the, the wife of the pastor, wow. blind eyes open. I literally saw her do things, you know, and all of that. People will come hungry for the spirit, um, um, the gift of the Holy Ghost, you know, and, and they are sitting there. She asks them, what is the problem? And they say that, um, that they want to receive um, uh, the Holy Ghost and all of that. She said, receive it now if people will just fall. Wow. Like, uh -uh. like that. What, what type of woman is that? So I went and met her. I say, Mama, I don't understand. When you are, come, do you know that this woman, if they bring anybody that is possessed, like, literally, I am not joking. Like, if you are possessed with a demon and she comes and she asks you, How are you? Next thing you just say, Leave me alone, leave me alone, leave me alone. So she inspired me greatly. I wanted to know this thing is too real as a child, you know, as a small child. It was too impressionable. I'm like, and this is it because we don't have power, we are doing too much talk. She did not even come to talk to me about power. I was seeing oh, things wow. with my eyes and all of that. And I'm like, Oh my goodness, I really love this thing that I'm seeing. I really love it. And so, all of that, my mother, she was so I even had to ask, I say, Why? Why am I, uh, these people are calling me when they are running away from you. What did I, and she said to me, because there are ashes on your altar. There are ashes, ashes. on your she altar. Yes, yeah, she said that to ashes me. On on your, altar. Yes, what does that yes. mean? That, um, my prayer life was not yes. robust, you know, and all of that. Because I was trying, you know, because I was praying when everybody was trying. Was trying. Was. But apparently, <laughs> God realized my assignment could not be powered by my prayer life. So, there are people who are even listening to us right now. The size of their destiny cannot be powered by their prayer life. Too, so, they, they, yes. So, you, you, you know how it is that they, some of them have the destinies of thrillers, you know, mm. this very big car. And, and they want to Okada buy engine. exactly. They were using Okada engine or Keke engine to yeah, power their. Yeah, yeah, it cannot work. Yeah, yeah. So, that's yeah. why your destiny is not moving. No, 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 no. Yes. Yeah. And it will not. Yeah. It's true. It's true. So, pretty much, that was how, what influenced oh, me. And this is, yes. And this is how my life began. And that was, uh, so it was mainly the influence, I'm now thinking about it, the influence of women, you know. The influence of women. Yes. Let's women. put our hands together for our mothers. Um, wow. Now, I mean, there's a prayer revival um, in the land, mm. and I, I know you, you're versatile in that area. Mm. Are there things you've noticed that hinder people from praying effectively? Yes. I could go on and on. Lack of a revelation of who God is. 
lack of the revelation, revelation of who God, God is. is. Yes. So that's the reason why some people don't even away from every request you're bringing to God. God wants to communicate with you. He wants He wants both of you to talk. He wants to chill with you. So sometimes, yes, He wants to chill with you. He wants to have a relationship with you. He wants to have you talk. Do you understand what I'm saying? And you know that there's got to be a consistency around your prayer life before God begins to talk back to you. God wow. needs to be sure that you be love this conversation. You know, it's like... Um, let me not use the wrong example right now, but the only example that comes to my mind is like toasting a babe, right? Yeah. Like you're toasting a babe. If you tell, oh, no, no, don't talk to me. Or they will not even talk. Coming. But when you keep coming, keep coming, she serious. just begins to wonder, why didn't I even agree like a long time ago? So, but with us and God, he, he needs to be sure that your heart is with like him. what you're saying. Yes. Yeah. Like you don't want to use him as a one chance. So once God knows that, don't use him as a one, one chance, chance God, yes. You know, just, just want to come in and then just walk away. So once people's revelation about God changes, it changes their prayer life. It changes their prayer life. Even from the very primary beginner's part of prayer to when God calls you to intercessory ministry. Yeah. You know, the perspectives might be different, but then again, the constant is revelation. So, some people don't have a revelation of God. They don't even believe that God, God answers prayers, but they don't believe he can answer now. So, like all the declarations that have been made now, some people just believe yeah, it will work in August. Things. It's exactly it will work. Exa right, still here, exactly, because they happen. don't have it. Do you know my revelation? This, the, the, what people see you know, on NSPPD is all a consequence of um, what I call a growing revelation. But how does one get revelation? Yeah. People ask him. What, how does one get revelation? Mm, revelation. Is by knowing God now. Uh, how? Okay. You see the word of God there. Eh? Uh -huh. You can never get revelation outside of the word of God. Okay, so Otherwise, spending time with yeah, the word. Spending time, spending with, the time word. with the exactly. word. Exactly. And then it like, opens up to he you. He opens up to you. Yes. God now gives you the big picture. Like you begin to understand what you need to hear from the word of God. Okay. Mm. Please put your hands together. Um, so that means from that revelation, a lot of things will be built yes, from there. Okay. Yes, a lot of things will be built. You're just going to discover many things about God, many yeah. things about prayer you never ever yeah. imagined. The aspects of God, you know, because there's some people that are different aspects of prayer. Prayer is one, I mean, course, I, I, yeah. can, I can't get into all that. Yeah. So, but if you have not spent time in revelations, God. you might not understand why people pray the way they pray. Yes. Okay. Um, I've dealt with people that have problems with stagnation. Yes. You know, people just on the same spot. Yes. And it's amazing how, you know, years can just roll by and yes. just on the same spot. Yes. You might be growing older. Yes. But I don't think that's God's plan for people. Yes. yes. What are the things, what can you advise, you know, uh, what can you say to that? And I can, I can go with a lot of examples in the scripture. But then again, I want, first of all, um, everyone, first of all, do you have an idea, first of all, of what your life is supposed to look like? Like, Purpose, yeah, and the well, season, purpose, yes, purpose, um, the seasons, and ultimately, what is the blueprint of God concerning your life? Right, you need to understand this is exactly the blueprint of God concerning my life, and the blueprint of God concerning your life will now be what will make you understand whether you're stagnant or not. I don't know whether you're getting yeah, what I'm yeah. saying. You, the blueprint of God will make you understand there was a season in my life I did all the things that I was doing right now, but nobody heard about me. I would ordinarily have described myself as being stagnant, but I was building capacity for whom I was becoming right now. Wow, so that, 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 that revelation of your destiny, yes. you now stay with it yes. and keep digging around yes, it and keep building, around, building until... Yes, okay, let, let me give you for instance. At some point, I kept asking myself, and my wife even asked me at some point. So over the past 15 years of my life, I have prayed all through the night till morning, all through the night till morning. So before this prayer started, I usually sleep in the morning. Right, I'll sleep in the morning till at about 10 or 11 and all that. So, but I will always pray all through the night, pray all through the night. So, my wife had asked me one night, you know, I was like, This thing is it how you're going to you, every night? Every, every night, I say that she's not saying because she doesn't love God, but is it how my life will just be every night? You know, you will just be praying every night. I, I even need to, I'm asking myself that question. I don't even know whether it's how my life, but I didn't have an idea of how global the assignments coming on my life was going to be. So, I kept there were days I didn't feel like it. Mm. I didn't feel like it. So what God brought me to was in that place. Even when I didn't feel like it, I would see the Holy Spirit tap me and say, it's prayer time. So even when I don't want to pray, I cannot sleep. So my eye would just be open. I will just be looking oh, at it. So because there were days I say, see this prayer today, I, I will God. not pray it. So my eyes just open, open, <laughs> open. I'll just be thinking, 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 thinking. One hour will pass. I'll advise myself. If this one that you are not awake and you are not doing pray. anything, you're not doing it. Why don't you cuckoo cool now? Just do it and pray. So I will now just pray. Not because I really loved it, but just because I knew that God was I didn't even know, but I just said this was what God wanted me to do. But then again, in retrospect, I realized that those were capacitation moments. Yes, yes. Those were times when God was building, causing me to build capacity on what has been revealed. Right, because you don't 
tell me you are praying over 10 years and all of every night you're praying and half of the time you don't have prayer point wow. half of the yes sir you are not praying because which prayer point you won't pray since because <laughs> all the ones you have been praying since you have covered all of them even every i'll be collecting prayer points from people i'll be collecting every, when people come here say give me your prayer point just say send me your prayer point send me so i have time so I pray, 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 and I'll be devoting good time. My church people enjoy that time. I'll be devoting good time. I'll be giving you 20 minutes. Pray about this man. When you finish, when you go finish. The next day, what are you going to pray about? Mm. The next day, what are you going to pray about? So half of the time in the night, I'm speaking in the Holy Ghost for five hours. I'm speaking in the Holy Ghost for four hours. There were interesting moments. There were moments I was caught up in two different things. There were experiences. Interesting. There were experiences. But now I realized that it is because, because you, you know the truth. All people see is manifestation, but they, they don't, don't know, the know that there was a story behind the manifestation. That means that are some things that some people are doing now yes that it might look like nothing is showing up yes but they know it's part of their destiny yes they should keep digging it digging it build the foundation build. and the thing is that let, I, I mean i am i am i always pray to god don't give us premature manifestation don't give us manifestation we don't oh, have the capacity have to, handle. to handle just because we desire in what many years i mean before nsppd you knew me yeah. so many years and it, it was just something i had done ministry for a while people were getting to know okay you see him okay what does he do okay this thing so and this is what it is those that knew me before nsppd also know that he's not doing anything different from what he has been doing yes, yes. he has always been whatever you call him to come and preach anyway he'll be doing yeah yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. he has been yeah, 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 in this thing for a long while so this is just who he is and so this might just be a moment of God saying to someone, build capacity, build capacity. Don't ever run out before your time. Hmm. Don't ever run so there out. There are times and there are seasons. There are times. Sensitive to your season. Yes. Okay. Please put your hands together. That's awesome. Um, now, I, I know you are also, I mean, you are a pastor. Yes. The church. And yes. We have pastors here. Yes. Uh, what can you say to a congregation to encourage their pastor, to support their pastor? Let me even say it like this. Some people are not nice. <laughs> Do you understand? Some people are not nice. They're just le look at it. Um, and I want to say because because me I'm a pastor. Yeah. Do you understand? Sometimes not because you want it, not because you desire, not because you like you traveled, right? You traveled, and I'm going to say the way it's doing mm. me in my heart. You traveled like people flying, flying from everywhere, and you're fleeing from the US, right? You're fleeing from Canada, you're fleeing from everywhere. You came to see Pastor. Mm. Do you understand? You came to see Pastor, sure, and all you came is with medical reports. In that place, medical huh? medical report of what you are supposed to pray about, and all that you bring, and then you are crying. I'm asking in that place. <laughs> don't, they, don't they say bread? <laughs> don't they say bread? Didn't you find? Didn't you find bread on the road to buy as you are coming to meet me? You remember Pastor Lumine Mado was saying this yesterday. Uh huh. So, why, why do you think people? Why do you think we behave like that as Christians? Thank you for watching. Watch the full clip on the pink comment.